This is for all you UT90A fanboys out there. This is the next meter I'm going to look at. This is a Unity UT90. The meter's kind of cool. Uh, I've been playing around with it. Checks out fine. One of the things you notice with this is it tells you up here on the LCD what terminals you're supposed to connect the terminals to. Functional wise, this is really not a bad meter. We'll see if it holds up to the test. I don't think a lot of people thought this meter was going to survive this far. Let's see if it'll take the 3.7K. So the Unity UT90A now has a failure. Again, this meter is damaged in the diode mode now. It no longer reads uh, open circuit like it should. What I'd like to do here is just go ahead and finish it off. So let's see how it holds up against the 5,000 volt hit. It's about a 40 microsecond wide pulse. Hey, it looks like we just fixed the meter. <laughs> I think we've just uh, damaged it. So this right now has a 50 volt signal applied to it. You can see it's reading zero volts now. You get a little bit of a signal out in the millivolts range, but that's it. This is looking inside the Unity UT90A. Again, I don't see any damage here, I suspect. Maybe between these two, there's a PTC or something that cut loose. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'd have to pull the circuit board off. I'm just not that enthused to really have a look at it. During my search testing, both of these meters were damaged. They've both been repaired using the same parts. Again, they have been touched. They've been opened, obviously. So I'm sure there's a few people are going to say, oh, that's bullshit. So that's fine. Take it for what it's worth. If they live through this. I'd say, yeah, and your meter doesn't. You got one shitty ass meter. <laughs> so let's try the Unity next. This is the UT90A. And we'll do the same thing here. Okay, look at AC volts. And DC volts. There's this uh, Unity UT90A. This meter made it down to the final four and then was damaged. It's since been repaired. We're going to use this basically to try to get a baseline of how 5K wise meters compare against the original that I had tested. So I'm expecting to damage this meter during the test just to be clear. This meter here survives this testing just fine along with quite a few other tests again made it into my final four my original meters very low end unity surviving and these ones here which are actually a nicer meter functional wise can't survive even the basic tests and it's now been programmed this is still 500 volts per division see it's about 1500 volts now same rise time same full with half height and again we'll start with the unity this is the UT90A so I just finished functional testing this meter. You can see here the display will fire up. And I can tell you all the ohms modes don't work. Battery test does not work. The DC voltage range, none of those work. And AC voltage range, none of those work. I probably won't fix this again, but uh, uh, yep. Yeah. So I guess the point here is that uh, this made it down to the final four meters. It was tested at a much higher voltage and survived. It's now failed at uh, 1.5K and that's because the full width half height of the pulse is much wider. It's uh, There's a lot more energy in this pulse. This is the Unity UT90A. You may have seen this in several of my videos. It's been damaged quite a few times and repaired. I've actually burned several traces on the circuit board and laid down wires to repair them. 
what we're going to do is hook this thing directly up to our fly swatter. And we can see here it's reading roughly 1900 volts. So it's loading it down quite a bit. Let's just try letting that supply charge up. Let's just see if it'll survive with this 100 picofarad capacitor charged to 2.7 kV. Unfortunately, you can see that little discharge has damaged the meter. Looks like one hit with the transient generator is enough to semi-clear it out. Well, you can really smell it. Let's just try her in the AC volts mode. So let's just have a look on the inside of this. Yeah, chart it pretty bad. Let's see if we can get a dark over one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and try to power it up here. Alright, that looks fine. Let's try to short the inputs out. 
Alright. Yep. Looks like it might be working. Let's uh, go ahead and finish putting it together. And there we have it. So this is a short. I haven't adjusted this meter at all. So I would not be surprised if it's not out of alignment a bit. So this is a 0.5 ohm. This is a 1 ohm. 50 ohms. 100 ohms. 1K. Go ahead and switch it to the 1K. 10K, switch it to 20K, looks good. 100K, we'll go to the 200K mode, yep, looks fine. Let's be 1 meg, we'll go to the 2 meg range, looks good. Let's be the 20 meg range, and this is a 10 meg resistor. Let's see, can this measure capacitance? It cannot. Still pretty fast. And let's go ahead and try. This will be one diode. <laughs> this thing never. I remember this thing not having a decimal point there. You. This is 668 millivolts. You think they'd proceed that with a decimal? 1.3 volt and 1.9 volt, so that looks good. I'll try hooking it up to our calibrator real quick. All right, this should be one millivolt. Dead on. And let's go ahead and try one volt. A little high, but not too bad. And this will be 10 volts. Looks pretty good. It's just connected to one of my bench power supplies, so it's be roughly 50 volts. Looks pretty good. This should be one volt. That looks correct. Try it on the 20 volt scale. That looks fine. Should be 7.4. And that all appears to be fine. We can try it in the current mode as well. Put her on the big bench supply. Let's be roughly two amps. That's correct. There should be four amps. That's right. Be roughly six amps. And that's correct as well. It should be roughly 100 milliamps. That's correct. It should be roughly 10 milliamps. That's correct. Let's try it on the 20 milliamp scale, looks about right. And this is roughly one milliamp. It's on the two milliamp scale, so that all appears fine. So it looks like the meter is back in operation. So for those of you that thought you saw the end of this meter, this thing will be back in future tests.